Hey everybody, I'm very excited to show you today our brand new version 3.0 of our Q's Pack. It's Q's Pack 3.0 from WorshipSense.com. And uh, we've made a number of improvements over the last few years of using these cues to build our worship tracks. And this version 3 is the most complete and polished version thus far. And the idea behind our cues pack is that it's all about using MIDI to build your cues instead of audio. Many people who build tracks or their worship teams use audio files that they record and drag in or that they've downloaded or maybe they've copied from another pre-recorded track. But before I show you this cues pack and demonstrate some of the sounds for you, let me take a second and just kind of go over with you some of the benefits of using MIDI for your cues in Ableton or whatever you're using instead of using recorded audio files. So here's why you'd want to use MIDI. First of all, it's just more flexible. You've got more flexibility because you're dealing with MIDI, which is a lot easier to manipulate than audio. Uh, you can edit your guide track quickly and easily, even in rehearsal, if you decide that a cue would be better if it had a different word or a different timing or something like that, or if someone on your team requests that a cue be changed somehow. You can do that all on the fly, on stage, in rehearsal, wherever you are. It's very, very simple. There's no waiting to render or consolidate an audio track or anything like that. Another one of the best benefits is that you've got a perfectly consistent sound, and that's because regardless of the tempo, you're getting the exact same sample being fired every time you hear it. So you don't have any audio artifacts or any other compromises that come from warping or whatever. And this right here is one of the most important advantages to me, and that is that you get a perfectly consistent click and cue volume from song to song. And that's because it's just MIDI, and everything you hear is coming from the same samples in the same drum rack. So you have a completely unified sound and volume level from song to song. And then there are advantages to using a MIDI click track instead of the built-in click in Ableton. Some of those advantages are that you can have the click start and drop out whenever you want. You can create subdivisions when you need them for slower tempos. And as I'll show you in a minute, you can easily change the click sound if you need to. All right, so there's some of the advantages uh, and benefits of using MIDI uh, for your guide tracks. And now let me go ahead and demonstrate some of the sounds for you. All right, so here we are in Ableton, and I've got a track queued up here. And uh, I've already done this, but just to demonstrate what you do, uh, you've got your drum rack here. This is the Worship Synth drum rack, and it's right there. And um, you can just drag this to any uh, MIDI track or a brand new MIDI track. And uh, you're, we're going to use this now to build our cues and clicks. All right, so that's how you get started. But I've already built this MIDI click track here. As you can see, it's just a one bar uh, MIDI loop that just loops all the way to the end of the song. As you can hear, we get to the end. And the MIDI click track just ends automatically because I programmed it to do so. All right, and if I wanted for some reason, let's say I wanted to have that be a, uh, a subdivided click, so I could see here I've got the accented click there, I've got the regular click here, and in between I have an offbeat click, and I'll go ahead and draw one there, and there, and there, and there. All right. So you can see it populated that track all the way through to the end with that subdivided click. That's how easy that is. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and undo that for this track though. And now let me show you the cues track. Uh, so I have already built in my cues here, as you can see. So I'll just quickly show you what I've got. Here's uh, what we have for the intro. Intro, two, three, four. And let me skip ahead here. Here's the verse where the verse comes in. Verse, two, three, four. All right, so this is not audio files. This is uh, MIDI. Uh, firing samples from the drum rack that I showed you previously. All right, here's our drum rack. Here's our uh, MIDI clip. So uh, let me go ahead and remove all these that I've already made, and I'm going to show you how I build it from scratch. I'm going to highlight this bar, and I'm going to say create MIDI clip, insert MIDI clip, and I'm going to say this is our intro, so I'm going to say intro, intro two, and then three, three, four. I want that to say four. So Intro, two, three, four. Just like that. And then I think over here we have the chorus coming in. Or the verse, rather, is going to start right there. So I'm going to say, that's going to be our verse. So I'm going to say insert MIDI clip. I'm going to go down here to 
verse. Verse. And I'm going to give it another two, two, three, four here. Three, four. Bam. Verse. Two, three, four. Ready to go. All right. So you get the idea. So wherever you want to fill the queue or a transition, you just do it there. Uh, you insert a MIDI click, draw in your MIDI notes. All right. Here's just a sample of some of the... Uh, one, two, three, four. Of course, you can be using your MIDI keyboard for this. Break it down. Break down. Tag. End. End. Bridge. Interlude. Re-intro. Intro. Chorus two. So that repeat is useful when we want to say, let's say, repeat. We say, uh, repeat pre-chorus. Right? If you're repeating the pre-chorus, that's what you would use. Repeat pre-chorus. Repeat, repeat verse. Repeat verse. So that's useful. All same as... Back to pre-chorus. Same kind of deal. So you can really kind of build your own instructions uh, as you're building your track, all by creating the MIDI uh, information here. And then just some other words we've got. Band out. Hold it out. Half time. Here we go. Just guitar. Guitar solo. Vocals only. And so on. So you get the idea. We've got, uh, I think we have about 70 words and phrases in this cue pack so that uh, you're pretty much covered for any sort of instruction you need to give your band. One cool thing as you're building your tracks, you're noticing that you see the words here on the left-hand side, which is cool. Tag. Break. Refrain. All right. So there's that. All right, let me show you a bonus feature here for the cues pack. And this is sort of the reason for the plus symbol in our in the name here of the of the drum rack. And uh, for this feature, I really need to give credit and thank Will from Multitracks.com who inspired this feature after I saw a video of his a while back where he had done something similar. Uh, and the idea is if you're playing with different drummers or different teams, sometimes different players and different groups have different preferences for the click sound. And uh, this feature lets you select a different click sound that will be used throughout your track. And none of the MIDI data for the click gets changed, only the sound that you're hearing for the actual click. So what you do is you go here to the drum rack, you find your click uh, track, and you go to your drum rack and you uh, open up the macros here. And then you have what we call the click selector. So let me solo the click track here. And uh, here you have the click going. And if I just select... different types of clicks uh, and there are several to choose from and they're all level matched uh, so all you have to do is choose a click that you like for your team that day or whatever and you are good to go so that's about it the basic idea in Ableton now some of you are not using Ableton for your tracks but you might be building your tracks in Logic and you'd still like to use these cues for your track so we've created an EXS 24 preset in Logic just for you so here we have our cues and there's an ESX24 instrument there with our cues pack. And it's all the same thing. So here's our click track. Again, it's just a one bar loop. All right. And here are our cues. Intro, two, three, four. All right. So here's something cool. Check this out. As you're building your track in Logic, you go to your piano roll here and you actually see not just note names, but you see the names of the words and phrases being spoken. So if you were going to draw... Re-intro. Re-intro right intro. there. You would say Re-intro. Two, three, four. All right. Re-intro. Or let's say you're starting on a chorus. 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 Two, three, four. All right. Pretty cool. Uh, and you've got all the exact same sounds. It's just uh, an EXS24 version of the same drum rack we saw in Ableton. All right. So that's our Cues Pack version 3.0. We hope that you enjoy it and find it useful for building your tracks. And uh, thank you so very much for your support, and thanks for watching.